Hi everyone. So, as promised, I'm gonna go through the items that I am going to be making for this wholesale order, just to kind of give you guys an idea of what I was asked to do. Um, so when Bill came to me, he had really identified like five animals that the rehab clinic gets the most of that he thought would have good visibility. And those were raccoons, possums, squirrels, um, owls, and songbirds. And so I was able to fulfill based off, like I said, it was kind of hard to find some patterns for some things, but I was able to do at least three out of five of those. And then I took a little bit of creative liberty with a couple of the other ones and he appears to have loved them. Um, so I'm gonna show you what I got. So one of the first things that we're gonna be doing is this little baby squirrel. So he's gonna have five of these ordered for you know transparency i'm happy to tell you i am going to sell them to him for 15 dollars each um and recommend that he either use them with his 25 dollars advertising campaign or um he could sell them you know at the store for um i would say anywhere up to 20 dollars pretty comfortably so i am anticipating he'll see a return on the use he did love them i loved making them little secret he ordered five of them and I already made five because I had loved making the pattern so much so that is pretty much already done for the order um, but they are super cute I did just want to show you you know I did a bit, little bit less of the face detailing than we usually do for Amagurumi I didn't add any blush or anything like that because that's the cutesy part not really the realistic part so he was definitely happy with this loved the white tip tail so that's number one. Um, all right, next is that skunk that I talked about. I, again, this is gonna be a $15 item. Um, no cutesy, I did use, I ended up using um, faux fur for, to give it a little bit of effect and I brushed it out um, with a cat brush. I don't know if you guys know that little trick, but you can absolutely brush out, you can even brush out worsted weight with a cat brush and it will give it the effect. If you've ever seen like my trolls that I did where their hair stands straight up, that was done using um, just like a cat brush and then a very thick bristled, um, almost like one of those Brillo brushes. So this is gonna be the larger skunk. Um, the pattern is actually, I just modified the chipmunk pattern that I'll show you guys. Like I said, um, I didn't add any eye whites to him or anything like that. I did add, you know, the little pink nose to kind of add a little distinction to the facial features. But uh, what I really tried to do is I knew that for each of these, I kind of wanted to have like around a $15 price point. And I am using a lower cost material. So I did try to add value to each of my things that I made at that price point, which was a deliberate price point because of the campaigns he was running. Um, so I wanted to make things that were all kind of of a similar size that I would comfortably sell for around 15 that he could easily sell for or give away as part of the $25 campaign. Um, so I think he could easily sell these for anywhere between 18 to $20 if he is in store or doing his market. Um, and for me, $15 a piece. And I just, I don't know, I think it came out pretty cute. It looks like a skunk. So I have that. Um, like I said, I don't really have a pattern to share because I kind of modified um, the chipmunk pattern to do my own. Okay, next. So this is the large hair um, that I sold to him. I'm selling these to him for $35 each. Um, you can see it's basically pretty true to size and he is giving me liberty to use both browns and grays for um, pretty much any one of the animals like the squirrels and the the but the bunnies where that makes sense where the species in Rhode Island are either of those colors but this hair very realistic looking um, I'm selling at the $35 price point I feel like he could sell this um, as part of like a $50 donation, he's gonna pay, I mean, probably max, he's gonna pay about $8 for shipping. And then, you know, they'll see a little bit of a return for them, um, which is of course the goal. And then I told him if he sold in store, I would sell this for 
for I told him $45. I think he could pretty comfortably get $40 to $45. It's a larger item. This took me a couple hours to make. It's the price point that I would, you know, want to sell it at. So we're going to do five of these big guys. And so when I start filling this order, I have a feeling I'm going to start with the large items first because um, they're just going to take longer and they're going to frustrate me. So I'm probably going to start with the large items first. So he's pretty cute though. Even though I sewed his head on crooked, nobody knew. <laughs> okay, next. So this actually, I got a two for one out of this pattern, right? So I got this pattern on Etsy. I will link it below because I can't remember the name of anybody um, that I did the pattern. So I feel like the colors I did for this are a little bit weird um, and that's okay because the animals do vary a little bit whether they're male or female um, on their coloring and you know things like that. But I'm actually going to do five geese and I'm going to do five mallards for this because I do have an emerald color um, yarn that I think it's very easy to just swap out the colors and you get two different types of animals. So I am selling this to him for a $35 price point. It does take me, I think it took me just under two hours to make. So, I mean, I'm comfortable with that. Um, I think he could very easily sell these uh, the exact same. I think he could sell these for $40 to $45 and I think he'll have the same shipping costs and the same return if he were to use them on the email campaign. So that's it. Kept him very true to form. I do feel like, I mean, he looks like a goose for sure. What's funny is this was actually a snuggler pattern and it was made with double crochets um, and unstuffed because it was a snuggler. But what I did is just switch it to single crochet and stuff it and I think it came out perfectly fine. Looks just like a, just like a, a goose. So we have that, we have that goose. Oh, here's the chipmunk that I've been talking about. So this is the chipmunk pattern. For me, you know, when I was talking about how I was trying to make everything around the $15 price point, when I initially did this pattern in the same yarn that I was using, which I was using um, Premier Just Chenille, because I knew I could get a lot of it and I knew the cost was low for me, um, and it would come out the, the right size because he definitely wants, he wants like a lot of a, like a mini kind of smaller size. Um, but it was actually too small for this chipmunk pattern, which is only about, I want to say it's 11 rounds, um, and then the tail. So what I did is I doubled the yarn. So I used the, um, the, sorry, I'm just catching him in the, in the camera. I think he looks so cute, but I used the Just Chenille and I paired it with Big Twist Posh in the croissant color and that gave him some girth and that gave him some size. I would say, you know, he's actually a little bit bigger than your average chipmunk, but he definitely came out cute. I took the time to kind of pay attention to how their eyes looked and I kept that double white um, because that tends to be what they look like, but he loved the chipmunk pattern, which was funny. I just happened to find it um, on Etsy. It wasn't even one of the animals that we discussed, but it's cute and it's little and I bet it sells. So. Same thing, $15 price point. I think it will go very comfortably with somebody that makes a $25 donation and he will ship for less. So probably um, make a little bit more on these. And of course I'm saying what their donation price points be, are, but I have no idea <laughs> what they're going to end up doing and you know what their markup is or what they're paying for postage or anything like that. But um, you know, just like when he and I had met last month and we talked about goals and stuff like that, he had kind of, you know, talked about what the campaign would look like. So this is my possum <laughs> pattern, which is pretty different than I think a lot of the other patterns that we've seen for possums, because I just didn't really think I could find um, a possum pattern that was not like a cutesy pot pattern but also not a worsted weight pattern because every one of those that I saw was like 40 rows and also I don't want to work with worsted weight I want them to be soft children love soft things so um that was really important to me so I ended up creating this pattern I didn't write it down yet so when I do go ahead and make the five of these that he ordered I am going to um Go ahead and write that pattern down and I'll put it up on my Etsy for sale if it's something that you like, if you're looking at a real more realistic possum. But this is him. Um, 
haven't named him yet. I did make him with um, a yarn doubling for to get an effect for the color on his body. Um, and I used the Big Pit Twist Posh in gray, and then I used just chenille in their kind of like black speckle that they have. So I did that, and he'll be up. He'll be up soon um, as far as the pattern goes, if that's something that you're interested in. But again, this one is by me. Um, feel free to check back to my Etsy shop regularly if you want to. Um, okay. I did Atomic Crochet's um, Raccoon. I am pricing this and the possum, I don't know if I said it, at a $20 price point. I do feel like he can charge um, $25 for this. You know, there was a little more work that went into this so and a little more yarn so I definitely kind of upped the price there I do feel like he'll be able to sell it same for this raccoon I'm doing a $20 price point I did modify the atomic crochet pattern a little bit to have the raccoon's face just sit on the on the back because she has almost like a floppy neck type of pattern so the raccoon's head actually tilts forward on the body and I just left it as a um, kind of completely horizontal type of body. I am charging 20 for this because number one, you have to like make the legs separately. And number two, I hate doing color changes. So, um, I did, I did add a little bit extra for the price on that. So he's coming in at $20. I feel very comfortable that he'll be able to sell these. I have made only one and immediately sold it at my first mark, the first market that I brought it to, as well as had it requested, um, as a present for someone. So I did that, keeping the face detailing pretty simple. Um, and you know, they'll seem to love it. So $20, five of these. And okay, so this bunny, I bought a small bunny pattern and I'll link it, but I felt like mine did not come out looking like the pattern did maybe or something. I'm not sure if it was a matter of my face detailing or what I tried to do with the ears. But the smaller bunnies, if you actually look at a real baby bunny, they actually have pretty small ears and um, when they're born. But I wanted in some ways to make it almost obvious that this is a, a you know baby bunny. But there's still, and you know, I was talking about, it, I almost didn't bring it. And I'm glad I did because he ended up wanting five of them. But he and I were both talking about how like there's something just a little bit off that we haven't been able to figure it out. Whether it's the ears, whether it's the face, um, we're not quite sure, but I'm gonna play around with it, see if I can get it a little bit closer to the baby bunny look, but that's basically it. And I will share the pattern below, but I mean, he's super cute either way and kids are absolutely gonna love this. So five of these at the $15 price point. And oh, the large squirrel. So this is the big squirrel. Um, he takes me, he takes me around two hours to make. I think he is a piecework. Um, when I, I made this like a month ago, I think I had to make the tail and yeah, there was a little bit of work involved. So this was maybe two, two and a half hours. I'm selling it for 35. What's nice is I have to do minimal face detailing, a little bit of face sculpting with it. Sorry. <laughs> um, Jerry doesn't like me holding the other animals. But the effect on this one, I mean, this is a squirrel. <laughs> this is definitely a squirrel. I can make it in the brown and in the gray, which is nice. Uh, but I found out in the course of doing this that um, the red squirrel and the common gray um, ground squirrel are the two squirrels that are indigenous to the New England area, Rhode Island specifically. So I'm okay to do it in this color and I'm going to do it in a gray color as well, which is nice because that's... I bought the yarn um, at the Dollar Tree because that's pretty much the only place you can get just chenille not on the cone, which I actually don't really like working off a cone. So that's part of the reason that, you know, I'm really happy that I can switch between those two colors because sometimes the options are limited um, when, when you're there. And I do feel like I'll have enough between the two colors to do that, um, to do five of these and the other ones that are all using the same types of yarn. Um, but again, it was a deliberate choice to be using the just chenille because of the weight of it. Um, I felt like it was the perfect weight to create something that was life-size 
um, for his his project. So materials cost is fortunately pretty low. The labor cost is higher, or rather the labor is more intensive, but I'm not charging an arm and a leg for these. I think these are very fair prices that again, you know, for all of these, I feel like he'll probably be able to get this is a forty dollar piece easily, and so you know they'll they'll make a little bit of money on the on the retail side of that. Okay, and so the last thing left are the minis, and he's gonna get ten each of these. So I did. These are all kind of derivations of that chipmunk pattern um, that I did on my own. So I have the mini chipmunk. Like I said, when I did the chipmunk pattern in the just chenille, it came out very small. But hello, is this super cute and an easy baby item um, that I think he could comfortably sell and make a few bucks off of. Um, I'm selling them to him for $5. I think he will not use these in any of the email campaigns because they're small. Um, but they do have some retail presence and they are doing a fair that I, I honestly, if I was charging at market, I would probably charge 7 or $8 for it because it is... Uh, slightly more labor intensive and uses slightly more yarn than what I typically sell for five dollars. These are of course my prices based on my markets um, that's available to me and I do run middle of the road for my pricing. I am not saying this is the price that anybody could get. I'm not saying I'm charging too much. I'm not saying I'm charging too little. Um, these, But these are the prices that I've decided upon for these items. Um, some of them I charge less um, then I might have charged at a market and some of them I charge more but in general I am averaging on my pricing and he, he did make a comment to me that you know he wouldn't sell as low as I'm selling so I think he does feel like he's getting value for what he's buying so I feel pretty comfortable that my prices end up all right and I do feel comfortable that they're going to get a return um, so I modified the chipmunk pattern a little bit um, to kind of create a pointed nose for the possum um, so a little baby possum. I feel like this will be an easy sell at market. And then I modified the skunk a little bit too, so that people could get a baby skunk if they wanted. I do think I'm going to do a couple things. Um, I think I'm going to throw in some freebies just so that they can see a higher return because this is great for me. You know, this is an awesome opportunity. We're talking, you know, this is the first campaign, but if it's successful, I'm sure the clinic will want to continue to run it. And I have not seen a time where selling little baby animals is not successful. So I am anticipating that being a good thing. Um, and also, every item is going to have my business card in it. You know, I'm including the care instructions for all the animals. So I'll be giving him my cards to pass out or ship with the items so that people know how to care for them. But it's got my name on there. So like, it's branding for me as well. So that's it. I will link the patterns or rather I'll probably just write them out um, below and you can search for those on Etsy if it's anything that you know you liked in this. But again, super excited. And what I'll do is probably just check in with you guys as I make the items. So we can do a little part two of the commission and the delivery. All right, so I always forget to say this, but if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for being here. I hope you like my content. Please feel free to like and subscribe, read a comment, anything like that. I love to engage with you guys. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much. It is so good to see you again. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.